Well, another business owner is expressing frustration tonight after a frightening attack at her store. The woman was shoved, punched in the head, and pushed to the ground right outside her candy and ice cream shop in San Francisco's West Portal neighborhood. The suspect then went inside the store and, as you see in that video, attacked an employee as well as a customer before passersby tackled him to the ground and held him until police arrived. He was arrested. Diana Zogarek owns the historic Shaw's Candy. Thank you so much, Diana, for joining me tonight. First, how are you doing after all of this? Um, I'm okay. I'm, I went to the ER and I had some minor bruising. Um, they did a lot of tests and I'm okay. Just shaken up and pretty sore. Well, glad that your injuries weren't more severe, Diana. Were you familiar with this person? I mean, do you know what motivated him to attack you? I was familiar with him. I've seen him on the street before. I've never seen him interact with anybody. He seems to just lay on the lay around, to be honest. Um, and no, I don't know. I have several times in the past asked politely for uh, folks to leave the bench that I have outside my store and leave it for customers and kids. And this time he just jumped up and started lunging at me and attacked me. I mean, what was going through your mind when he was punching you in the head and, and ultimately shoved you to the ground? I, I just kept thinking he was going to stop like he hit a couple times and he paused and then he came at me again and I just every time I thought okay I haven't fallen or anything yet I think I'm going to be okay he stopped and then he would just come again and again and again so uh, I guess that is what I thought I was wondering why I didn't run or do something but you guess you just don't know what to do in the moment. Yeah, especially when something so unexpected like this happens. Diana, your business has been around a long time in West Portal since 1931. Has this incident given you a bit of a pause about your store's future? It has. I mean, this isn't the first incident. Unfortunately, I've been on the news a few times now with break-ins and people attacking. And um, I fear for my employees mainly is horrible. It was that this happened to me. I thankfully me and not a 16 year old girl, uh, you know, it's just it's scary to think that this could happen. And um, so, yeah, I, it does. I don't know what to do, increase staff, but then that cuts out and, you know, that increases expenses. So it's, it's hard to know how to stay afloat. You, you mentioned that you've had other experiences in the past. I mean, how concerned are you about crime and quality of life issues in the neighborhood? And what would you like to see happen? I, I'm very concerned. It's a candy store. It shouldn't be dangerous to work at a candy store. And um, it's supposed to be a really nice neighborhood. But, you know, this happened in broad daylight. My answer would have been a week or two ago, please have patrol and people after hours when the ambassadors go home, because that's when all the crime is happening. But this happened in broad daylight. So um, more patrol, more pe I don't know. I like more help for people before it happens. The city is very responsive. I've gotten calls from everyone, the supervisor, the captain, everybody, but, and I know it has escalated to the mayor, but what about prevention? What can we do before so this doesn't happen in the first place? There's a lot of after the fact conversations. Yeah, these are all important conversations that need to be had. Again, glad that you're doing okay. And thanks again Thank for you. coming on the show tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Heather. Take mm -hmm. care.